Failure is not only an option but necessary for growth. Failure is not an option. We have all heard it, we may have even used it a time or two. It is a great sentiment and motivator for a single moment in time, a single event, or overall philosophy. However, it becomes detrimental to overall growth and development. I remember reading about an interview that Thomas Edison did after inventing the light bulb. The reporter asked Edison how many designs he tried before he came up with the one that worked. Edison said he had went through thousands of materials and hundreds of complete designs until he found the one that worked. The reporter said that Edison must have felt like a failure after so many designs did not work. Edison responded that I did not fail. I found hundreds of ways to not make a light bulb. If I find 10,000 ways something won't work, I haven't failed. I'm not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is often a step forward. I remember one time after executing a particularly poor block and eating the punch up to wrist. Picking myself up off the floor and thinking, well, I just learned at least one way to not block. Maybe I should work on finding one that will. We need to begin to look at failure as a comment on growth and not let our ego turn it into a comment on us as a person. We have failed at this attempt, not we are failures as people, for those of you who do weight training. Growth and improvement happens after the muscle fails, not before if you go to the gym and pick up a five pound weight and lift it twice. You may be able to call that a workout if you want, but you will never improve or grow. So you pick a weight that is heavy enough so that at about the eighth repetition, the muscles begin to fail and then you push yourself to do as many more repetitions as you can until the muscles fail completely. Here is where you improve, here is where you grow. I bring this up based on some observations I have made at the dojo recently. In the dojo, we have some people, adults and children, that have a tremendous amount of natural talent. They learn quickly and have excellent technique once it is learned, but they are so reliant on that natural talent and so afraid of failure that they have no heart. They have no strength of character to push themselves past their natural talent to the next level their natural talent makes them good. But if they could learn to accept failure and develop the warrior's heart to push past their limits and ego they could be great. They could turn themselves into the next Cunibus, Bruce Lees, etc. I'm not saying that we should strive to fail or accept failure in and of itself. I'm saying that we should be pushing ourselves so hard to our limits that a failure is inevitable. Then take that failure and learn from it and grow from it. Learn to laugh at yourself when you fail, especially spectacularly, just as the people who saw you do it will probably be laughing. Learn from your training failures so that failures will not happen when you really need your training. Grow from your failures and do not let fear of failure stagnate you as a person.